Two things I want to say to you guys. I don't give a fuck whether you're white, Hispanic, Asian, black, purple, yellow. I don't give a fuck what color you are. I don't give a fuck if you're a bag, a faggot, a transsexual. I don't give a fuck what you do. Listen, beyond, listen, 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 listen. Beyond anything and everything, you are a fucking human being and it is your right. It is your right to be able to do what the fuck you want to do. If anybody, listen, if anybody tells you to lay the fuck down, you run them the fuck over. You hear me? Woo! Try so hard to survive just to die. Yeah. You ain't throwing signs on the drive when we slide. Yeah. When I get up now, I'll been paying for a drive. Yeah. You ain't popping sands, popping sands. Oh man, legendary, 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 man. Um, R.I.P. Man, R.I.P. XXX Tentacion. R.I.P. Jimmy Wapo, man. I remember the exact place person, temperature. I remember everything about that day, bro. Everything, man. And I remember like hearing about XXX losing his life and then like fucking five, ten minutes later, it was Jimmy Wapo. I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of y'all are probably not familiar with Jimmy Wapo, but I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you hip. Um, yeah, uh, so I guess we'll start with Jimmy Wapo. Jimmy Wapo, talented artist, man. Um, Pittsburgh, he was right there, you know, Pittsburgh is where Wiz Khalifa from, Mac Miller's from, R.I.P., R.I.P. to Mac Miller. Um, yeah, he was the next thing up. I remember me and Y.K., shout out my nigga Y.K. of the way, I remember we was talking about him back in like 2017. He was asking me, did I see him? Have I heard of him? I was like, yeah, I heard of that nigga. He used to be on World Star. He was dope, bro. He was like a trap nigga, like from Pittsburgh, though, like super trap nigga, you know what I mean? Super talented. Um... He had hella influence, man. You feel me? The nigga had the nigga had the white boys loving his shit. The niggas in the hood. He was like really on the verge. I could easily see him sign. And he was just about to sign to I think I don't know if he's about to sign with Warner Brothers or Atlantic. I think I think he got was about to get put on somehow through Wiz. Like Wiz gonna get him his own deal type shit. Um, but he did do a couple shows with uh, Wiz, a couple telegang um, tour dates and shit, open for him and shit, but. Yeah, man, that shit was crazy, bro. Um, let's get into. Let me get y'all familiar. Let's get into uh, Wapo. Let, let, let me show y'all his vibe. Let me show you. The, the nigga had everybody. Like I said, the white people, everybody. The nigga was fucking Wapo, and he had like a little dance too. Like that was the the, the Wapo knees or something. Check it out. Uh huh. Uh. On 1397, nigga. A legend was made, nigga. Uh. Tune the fuck in. Turn me up, nigga. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Real shit. I chick gang bang and I was born in the 90s About 11, 12 when I first decided What the fuck, I'ma claim who the fuck I'ma ride with Bitch, I'm eight block for life, so I got that shit tied it Teed up on these niggas like the offensive lineman Young and clocking out, I was putting that time in Niggas steady hating, cause they jumped in behind me I said, fuck it, get this money, I'ma kill them with kindness Shit was adding up, now it's starting to minus Used to shoot it out, it was easy to find us Now we getting older, it's just homework and science Before I come up out the crib, I gotta peek through the blinds Rock jeans and my Nikes and the jet shoe and dice Little deck to my left, top dog to my right Pull up to the light, double cup with some ice Block 17, if I don't up it quick, it's them, that's my life In the hood where I'm from, you go through shit you don't like If your daddy was a rat, then your ass is a mice Go get your brother, get your cousin, niggas taking your bike It's Jimmy Watt, we off the off, don't make me do this shit twice Make me come up out that roof Better watch that back door Bitch, we finna do a hit 100 shots in my AK 
You can't see behind the tent Lord forgive me for my sins Lord forgive me for my sins Lord forgive me for my sins I got niggas throwing bricks for free I got niggas doing hits for cheap Make it thunder nigga OKC On Mick Scary with my killers nigga free KD Used to be my friend now they my enemies Since elementary knew I see penitentiaries Been a bad little nigga no common sense for me I ain't never had shit up under the Christmas tree It's a mystery, Scooby Doo Uzi made him do the hula hoop Chopper make him chicken noodle soup Do the bop, do the bop. Make it thunder, bro. Oh, oh. It's a mystery. Scooby Doo. What? Uzi made him do it. Yeah, so as you can see, he was a talented guy, man. Charismatic. You know what I mean? Had his own style. Just, you know, was on his own vibe, on his own wave. But, uh, you know, the title of this video, you know what? You can just read from the title what happened to him. You know, he's resting in peace now. Um, yeah, man, he got killed in the drive-by, you know what I mean? Point-blank range, it was pretty bad. Uh, let me just let y'all look at the news report when we will get back. Community is mourning an up-and-coming Pittsburgh rapper. Jimmy Wapo was shot and killed yesterday afternoon in the Hill District. Megan Schiller has more on how he's being remembered as find his killer. Famous Pittsburgh musicians like Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller quickly posted on social media offering their condolences to the friends and family of Jimmy Wapo. They say that this crime only further tarnishes the reputation here in the Hill District. Here's a picture of 21-year-old Jimmy Wapo posted on Instagram by Wiz Khalifa, a Pittsburgh rapper turned household name. Wiz wrote, rest up bro with a broken heart. Point Breeze native and musician Mac Miller took to Twitter, posting this picture with no words, but also just a broken heart. Here's what the crime scene looked like late Monday night on Wiley Avenue. Two bullet holes pierced the driver's side window of this white Mazda SUV. Police say that shooter hit Wapo and another man from close range. Wapo died as soon as he got to the hospital, and the other victim is in stable condition. I was just with him last week, and uh, he was just giving me inspiration about the music. Because he was on my street on Cliff Street and he was just telling me, you know, like, don't ever stop the music and stuff because I rap too. The double drive by stopped all traffic right before rush hour. It's just hard, like, making the whole hill district just look bad. As groups of people stopped to watch investigators. He was definitely like my idol, like, my inspiration for real. WAPO's manager Taylor Maglin tells KDKA he can't eat, can't sleep, and can't even believe this senseless crime. He posted this about the up and coming rapper. Cherished every moment working with you. Can't believe you're gone. And Wapo's manager tells me that he was just about to sign a really big deal following in Wiz Khalifa's footsteps. He says he hopes that Wapo's shooter is put behind bars. So from Wapo, man, we go to XXX Tentacion, man. Um, another fallen artist. Um, pff, I, yo, I was looking at some of his stuff today, and I was like, yo, this kid was going to be like. A, re a real revolutionary like artist like he was gonna change some shit i don't know what it was but he was definitely gonna change some shit man um you, we all i don't need to go into what happened with him pretty much everybody knows who's in who listens to rap or is it really in music or likes into music um it's fucking sad bro niggas and he was basically just hated on type shit Niggas just hated on him and took his life. I mean, not to take nothing away from Wapo. Wapo was in the street for real, though, so that could have came. And they said that Wapo and them was terrorizing Pittsburgh. XXX wasn't terrorizing anybody. You know what I'm saying? He won't in the street. You know what I'm saying? He always said he didn't even believe in guns and shit. Like, he'd rather fight you or get a knife if he got to get anything type shit. So, I don't know, man. But uh, I want to say condolences to both of their family, man. R.P. Jimmy Wapo, man. R.P. XXX. Damn, yo, that girl that I was with when um when this all happened, I was I was with this girl or whatever. We wasn't like formally dating. We was kind of talking. We was courting. 
right? Courting, I guess. I was courting her. Or, um, damn, I wanted her to be my girlfriend, yo. That's why I really, yo, I was like almost in love with this girl. Like, I was almost, I, I could see myself in love with her. Like, let me just say it like that. I could see myself, but I hadn't formed, I hadn't told her, like, oh, I love you or nothing like that. But yeah, we ain't really fall out. It just, I don't know. But that's not even, that's a whole nother fucking video. But um, RIP to both of them brothers, man. And, you know, drop your RIP X's in the chat. Drop your RIP Wapos, man. You know what I mean? Um, and until next time, man, we gone. Yeah. <laughs>